Good evening. The Sangster International Airport, SIA, operated by MBJ Airports Limited, was again named the Caribbean's leading airport at the World Travel Awards, WTA, hosted at Sandals Montego Bay this week. The SIA was among 12 Caribbean competitors nominated for the prestigious award. The accolade was first bestowed upon the SIA in 2005, then again in 2009, and the title has been won by them every year since then. The red carpet evening was held at the Sandals Montego Bay, where the elite of the travel industry gathered to find out who among them had been crowned the best in the Caribbean and the Americas region. In other news tonight, 248 instructors left the public school system between July and September 1 of this year, the Minister of Education and Youth, Fabel Williams, stated. This in comparison to the 137 instructors who left their positions between July and August 2022. There has been an increase in departures of 81 educators. That has been, uh, you know, a well talked about topic for the last couple of weeks. Uh, so on the matter of teacher resignation for the period since July to present, we have 248 resignations. As, but I want to add uh, you know, to that is that many of those resignations would have already been uh, filled. Many of those vacancies would have already been filled. Um, I can tell you some of the regions. For example, Region 2, which would be St. Thomas, Portland, and St. Mary. They have reported that 80%, 80% of the schools reported that they have replaced teachers who have resigned. And two examples coming out of Region 2, Brown Brook Primary and Port Antonio Primary, two very large primary schools. Um, they have fully replaced their teachers who have resigned. One corporate era school and Minister Williams, who was addressing a back-to-school press conference yesterday, stated that schools will be in a good position to start on September 5, despite the resignations. She further stated that educators who are available to work in schools will be made aware. Therefore, schools will be able to make ideal hiring decisions. We're doing work to launch a platform to allow those who are looking for jobs in the teaching profession to upload their resumes so that our schools, um, uh, our principals will be able to see um, at a glance teachers that are available, uh, teachers who want to come into the, te well, I would say persons who want to come into the teaching profession. It will allow greater efficiency in terms of connecting schools to teachers, getting those interviews done, and so on. And we hope to have this facility um, on into the future. It's a facility for the education sector that will make it easier for those looking to meet up with those who are hiring. Stay tuned for the full press briefing hosted by Minister Fable Williams immediately after this newscast. Continuing with the news tonight, Permanent Secretary in the Labour Ministry, Colette roberts Risden is insisting that the inspection of farms involved in the seasonal work program is not being compromised by the low number of liaison officers on staff in Canada. Thirteen liaison officers are currently responsible for visiting the 655 farms to which Jamaican workers are posted in Canada. Each farm is to be visited at least twice during the season, in addition to visits by officers in relation to complaints. Jamaica's Chief Liaison Service Officer in Canada, Kenneth Phillips, says the Labour Ministry is in the process of recruiting four additional liaison officers. In the meantime, Robert Risden is dismissing suggestions the Ministry and its liaison officers are more receptive towards employers than Jamaican workers. 
Several farm workers have claimed that their complaints have not received much attention from liaison officers who often side with employers. However, Roberts Risden said they're not there to serve the interest of employers. They're there to serve the interest of the workers and the program overall. Still making Mellow TV news, a man from Hanover has been charged after he allegedly shot at another man at Well Lane in Sandy Bay, Hanover on Monday. Charged with shooting with intent and illegal possession of firearm is Richard Reed, otherwise called Junior, Power Run and Elvis, a 28-year-old barber of Newtown, Sandy Bay in Hanover. Reports coming into our news center are that at about 8 p.m., the man was walking through a track when he heard a clicking sound. He then saw Reed pointing a firearm at him. He ran and was fired at. However, he managed to escape injury. A report was made to the police and an investigation was launched. Reed was subsequently arrested and charged. His court date is being arranged. Still tonight, one homemade handgun along with several rounds of ammunition was seized by the Hanover police on the Sandy Bay Main Road in the parish yesterday. A man was taken into custody in connection with the seizure. Reports coming into our news center are that at about 12.30 p.m., a man visited the station to make reports about a shooting incident. While at the police station, the suspect was seen riding along the roadway. He was pointed out to the police. He was accosted and searched and the homemade firearm and 10 rounds of ammunition taken from him. His identity is being withheld pending further investigations. And those are the stories making news. I am Shelley Hill. Do stay safe, pleasant viewing and thanks for watching.